Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and today is the day before the new Sims 4 expansion pack trailer is airing. I'm excited, just really excited. I'm very curious about what we're gonna get, I'm not sure. But um, I'm guessing I will cover that later this week, either on Instagram, Twitter or my YouTube channel, depending on how much time I have this week. So we are gonna dive straight into the build. You saw me already fiddling around with some of the terrain paint. Well, not terrain paint, terrain tools. And that is something I don't usually do. But for this build, it was kind of necessary. You probably uh, saw by the title, we are building the pink palace. And maybe you don't know what the pink palace is. The pink palace is the uh, Victorian apartments building that is actually from the movie Coraline. And Coraline is a children's movie i believe it's part of disney but i'm not sure like um we'll we'll get back to that i'm not exactly sure if it's from disney or not i i, al I always thought it was but it's not on disney plus so i'm guessing it's not from disney but you know i don't know what it's from then anyways and that is about um this girl and she and her parents move and her parents don't really have a lot of time for her. So she wishes that there was another world where her parents were nice for her. And then she finds this door that actually leads to this world where her everyone is nice to her and her parents are nice. But there is one like uh, very remarkable difference. The people in the other world have buttons for eyes. And then of course like her other mom and other dad wants her to stay there and they want to sew her eyes shut with buttons very traumatizing as a kid let me just tell you that very traumatizing anyways um so we are building that home right now i actually wanted to watch the movie before i built this home because obviously um like exterior pictures are always easy to find but interior pictures they're always quite hard to find for me and then again i'm not really an expert with google or anything so it probably is just me and i can't google Sometimes I feel really old and then I realize I'm actually not old, but I just don't know how technology works. And I pronounce technology technology wrong two times in a row now. Wow. This is not a good day for voiceovers. I'm very sorry in advance. Anyhow, so um, I wanted to watch this movie. So I went to Netflix, it was not on there. I went to Disney Plus, it was not on there. Then I went searching through my own DVD collection it was not there, so I don't know where this movie is because I knew, know that I saw it as a kid and I saw it on DVD, but it's not here anymore. So I had to go by memory, which wasn't really helpful this time. So I just interior, like um, it is nothing like the movie and I just made it up myself because I knew that these were apartment buildings. So I built a um, communal, uh, downstairs so the kitchen living room everything is um, accessible for all the people and then upstairs I built tiny apartments so every apartment will consist out of one room and then a uh, joint bathroom and actually I, I quite like the way that looks but like I'm not gonna talk about that right now because I will discuss that when we actually get to the interior and meanwhile we are still working on the exterior now this style of this home is Victorian and I absolutely love Victorian homes. I feel they are so amazing and they are so pretty. The only downside with Victorian builds is the roofing because the roofing is so darn complicated. It consists of so many little pieces and I had to do so much cutting because it didn't work the way that I wanted it and it was so annoying. So in the end, we end up with really high uh, ceilings, well, high roofs. And I actually really like the way that it looks in it. I feel like it looks relatively close to what it actually looks like in the movies and in the movie. And if you have not watched the movie, um, make sure you watch it. Also, if you did watch the movie or you're looking at a movie poster of it right now you might think that Tim Burton directed it because you know it's similar to The Nightmare Before Christmas which by the way wasn't directed by Tim Burton just he just put his name on it but it was not his idea and he did not direct it anyways the director of this is Henry Selleck and I think Henry Selleck also did The Nightmare Before Christmas yes 
for uh, directing and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so not Tim Burton, Henry Selleck. And I know nothing about Henry Selleck for the rest, so um, let's not talk about him. It's just he did an amazing job with Coraline and The Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas is, um, I think, also making a return. Well, not a return, it's going to be on this channel because, you know, Halloween is coming up and after that we are celebrating Christmas. And maybe for some Americans here, they're celebrating Thanksgiving and whatsoever. Maybe certain Dutch people will be celebrating Sinterklaas. Uh, being Dutch myself, I don't celebrate Sinterklaas because I dislike that entire fest. I just, I can't stand it. And um, so I think that after Spooktober is over, we are actually going to focus briefly on the month of November, just autumn builds and everything. And then in December, we are going to focus completely on Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of the year. And the song already says it's Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. And when we actually get to December, there will be a lot of Christmas builds. And there will be a lot of Christmas stories and a lot of Christmas music. Uh, hopefully I can just um, actually put Christmas music behind, like as a sound on my video, but I'm not actually sure because I think it might get demonetized. Or like copy, I'm not really afraid of demonetization. It's more like um, copy strikes that I don't really want because I believe if you have three strikes, you're out. And I don't want to get out because I actually like this YouTube thing quite a bit. And over the last, uh, I feel, few few days, we actually had six new subs. And thank you very much for subbing and welcome. And if you haven't already subbed and you are watching this, please make sure you sub because, you know, it, it means a lot to me. It helps the channel grow. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I just really, really appreciate that. And thank you guys, like literally thank everyone who subbed or who likes or comments. Like, Literally, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I honestly, I can't express it enough, but I'm really, really grateful for it. And I know that sounds really weird because YouTube is like not my main source of income, nor will it probably ever be. Um, I am very happy with my job, but I, I, it's just so much fun making videos and editing it. And I think I kept keep getting better at it every time like you're learning new stuff i discover new features in actually uh, adobe premiere so i'm i'm proud of myself and that, that's really weird to say but i'm really proud of myself that i just i'm doing it like i've like no kidding this is gonna be like a big youtuber dream um it's not but as a kid i always dreamed like i would be like this big um celebrity person that talked to a lot of people online and like I'm not saying I'm a celebrity because I'm not but I am talking to a lot of people online so you know that part did come true and who knows maybe I'll be a, a lifetime influencer who knows <laughs> that would be kind of funny though I actually would really like that that'd be amazing oh well back to our build we are now starting off with a uh, uh, landscaping and the terrain paint and I actually wanted to make it look like there were uh, like trails of cars going here because we are as a matter of fact are going to put in some cars on the trail so like it's it's pretty busy you know so there is that and I actually really like the way that it looks especially once we put cars in there and I do believe before we put cars in there we are actually going to landscape it a bit but I can't exactly remember also, the rest of this um, you know, land was way too green, so we're adding some like dirt on there. Also, on the other extra pieces of this lot, a lot of dirt, so we have like a lot of trees. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, but like um, it's building Willow Creek, and it's really weird because like it's a Spooktober build, but I'm building in Willow Creek, which is kind of off. But I just like the way this lot looks and feeling like it's a Victorian home. I felt like it kind of needed to be in Willow Creek, especially with the entire surroundings and the tree, wi tree wise and the trees that are actually standing there and are also standing on the picture. So I really like it. Also, um, I recently discovered and recently like um, last day when I finished building this home that those logs 
are actually like I, I always thought hmm, we should have just logs and not the vampire ones but then I found that one from the Star Wars pack and I was like wow just for this lock that pack would be worth it because I'm gonna use that pack that lock so many times now I mean look it has like moss on it and it's all dirty it's actually you can see through it so like it's actually open from the inside it's hollow and I really 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 like the way that it looks I am absolutely like proud of myself well, I'm not well not well proud of myself for finding it I'm just happy that it's there and obviously we are doing rock works I mean you can't never go wrong with rocks you'll see that in a minute as well we are placing a lot of plants and a lot of trees but in the end we are going in there with rocks and when you go in there with rocks it just looks more complete you see it here as well we are adding some grass to make it look like a little bit overgrown and not like um, people don't live here but like these people need to loan their mo lo mow their lawn overgrown Wow, I really cannot talk today. This is a rubbish voiceover. And I'm not starting again because I already started like three times over. And now I'm just going through it. I'm not quitting. I'm just going through with this voiceover. In the end, I really like this though. Like the little plants on the, on the ground and then all the flowers. I thought it was so, so cheerful. And that's the only downside that I find with the terrain tools in uh, The Sims 4. Like the terrain tools in Planet Zoo, absolutely love them. Just love it. R works really well, works amazing. And then you have the terrain tools in The Sims 4. And um, whenever I put a, like a, a bush on there, it's floating and I can't stand that. So I rarely ever use terrain paint. And for this one as well, you can just see some of the plants floating. And I, I can't deal with that, I don't like it. I don't like it when things are floating. So, you know, but it is what it is, so... Just gonna move on, on and that's it. I also noticed that there is actually a foundation at the front of the home, and then at the back of the home there isn't a foundation, which I always feels kind of weird, but you know, it, I didn't realize that only like uh, now until, I actually see, um, until I'm actually seeing it. But you know, it has... it looks okay-ish. I don't really know if I like it or not. I do really like this overgrown plants. I feel that looks really much the style of the entire Victorian home. I quite like it. I like it. And now, like, now we are going in with rocks. And these rocks actually make the difference because these rocks... They're kind of like mossy as well. So they're not like newly placed. You can see that they've been there a while. Especially that big one. Love that big rock. And I never even knew that we had those rocks because I don't think I ever, ever used them in a build. And now I just saw them and I absolutely love them. Look, and then we are placing the vehicles on exactly on like the tracks and I actually really like it. So we're placing this car and then we're actually placing a moving van because, you know, Coraline, her family just moved in. And now we are going over to the interior and we are starting actually with a little hallway and that little hallway is actually really cozy i have no clue if it looks like that in a movie because i absolutely can't remember and i couldn't really uh google anything because google hates me and i it never shows up what i want maybe i just suck at googling who knows so the downstairs will have like a, a bathroom a uh, whole entry. This will be the laundry room. Then you'll have the kitchen, dining, a study, a living room and a seating room, which is uh, kind of like a second living room, but not like really fancy, just a bit smaller. We're going full British here. They always have two living rooms, so we're doing that as well. It just, it felt necessary in this build. I did find the floor plan of the lower of the first floor. So that's actually quite amazing. So the floor plan is actually pretty similar because there were two unknown rooms. So one of those unknown rooms is the laundry room. And then the other unknown room will be the seating room. So the second living room that we will be going over in just a minute, I believe. And this laundry room is also kind of like a stock and I can put like a cupboard. And we are using only uh, actually pieces from laundry day and then one painting. And here we are in the second living room. Small TV, small seating area, and then there's the fireplace. 
which is actually really cozy. A bookcase so you can read some stuff and it's really snug as you can see there isn't a lot of space but you know it is what it is but I actually really like the way it is and I actually I feel if that if I were to live in this place I would move to the smaller living space before I would sit in the large living space. We are also having these blinds which I actually really like. I never ever ever use blinds in The Sims 4. That's probably because I don't have blinds in real life. I just have curtains. But I, I really like it. They're nice. What I do miss in The Sims 4 are some like uh, see-through curtains, which you just have there because then people can't actually look inside because I have those as well. I have two sets of curtains in my room. One for when I, I want it to be dark in my room or go to bed. And the other one for when I want it to be light in my room, but I don't want my neighbors peeping into my bedroom. I actually live uh, across the street from an old people's home. And um, uh, actually like the, the across the street there are these, well, old people. They don't really have a lot to do during the day. So one of those old uh, persons, he used to sit in a wheelchair and everything he would do the entire day, he would get his binoculars and then he would stare into my bedroom and make notes about what I was doing. Really creepy, so um, I just started waving at him and then, uh, then he like rolled his wheelchair back and then a few minutes later he was peeping in my, win in my uh, room again. So that's why I got those blinds where you can't actually see through. Sad story though, he died last week. His entire room is empty and there's no one there now, so he's dead. Which is kind of unfortunate because I actually liked him. He was quite nice. We always waved to each other. Oh well. I mean, he was probably very old. I think he looked like 80 or 90, so he was old. But still, sad for his family. We are uh, obviously making a very cluttered kitchen. Looking at it now, we're like, wow, this is cluttered. But I actually really like the way how cluttered it is. It looks really nice. And we are also going for the blinds in the kitchen. And when you actually size them down, they still fit in the window and they just look a little bit nicer. And across the kitchen is actually going to be the living room. Now, the living room is going to be quite simple, though. Like, we're going to move there after we place this rock, I believe. Yes. It is quite simple, it's going to be a very long table because I imagine that all the people from the home actually had to, um, well, eat here. It is quite simple, just table, eight chairs, fruit bowl and a rug and then some small decorations like a radio and I believe we also add a fireplace in there and just some bookcases and a seating area, not something uh, remotely special, just, you know, the word, the standards works. It's completely fine. All right, there is actually the fireplace with a mirror and then some books right in front of there. And I believe we are actually then going to move over to the study, yes. Now this study, I could cramp it up all the way. I choose chose not to do that. I usually, I put like a piano in the study and I put a chess table in the study. Didn't do that this time. This time it is purely bookcases, a computer, a desk. And I do believe I put a couch and a table in there. Yes, the tiny living couch and the student's living uh, table or Discovery University. I absolutely love tiny living. Like I said this like seven months ago when I started this YouTube channel. Um, wait, six months ago, actually. Six months ago when I started this YouTube channel. I love Tiny Living. All the furniture, it looks so nice. It's so bright and it's tiny, so it fits everywhere. I absolutely love it. It's one of the best packs The Sims 4 has like ever, ever come up with. Except maybe for Cats and Dogs, because Cats and Dogs is amazing as well. I really, really enjoy that pack as well. I'm sorry if you can hear me like... Uh, drinking because you know my throat hurts after I've been talking for like almost 20 minutes wow I'm just gonna take a zip of my water so here we are in the second living room and the second living room 
is basically your standard living room. So it has like a giant TV, as you all have probably. Uh, couches, big table, and more than enough space for everyone, some bookcases, another seating area, and I believe we are even adding a third seating area here because, you know, we have the space, so why not use it? And a jukebox, because uh, everyone has this has a jukebox in their home, I'm sure of it. And if you don't have it, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> And so I can't even say that with a straight face. I would love to have a jukebox in, in real life though. That would have been amazing. To be fair, I already have a record player and I'm really happy with that. But a jukebox, wow, that would be amazing. So now we are moving over to the upstairs area. And the upstairs area, there are four apartments. Am I saying that correctly? One, two, yeah, four apartments. And every apartment has their own uh, like bathroom connected to it. And I'm actually, I really like the way that it looks. Especially since in almost all the apartments, um, the, like, all the closet and the mirror, like the changing mirror, are in the bathroom as well. Because the bathroom is quite big. So, you know, you have space for that. So, it's like a studio apartment. So you have your bed, your living room, uh, and your study in one. Then the kitchen is downstairs, and that is actually um, shared. And then you have a separate bathroom. And I'm actually quite pleased with the way it came out. And I'm, I'm going to keep saying that, but I'm really happy with it. So this apartment is for a painter. And with every apartment, I had envisioned like one skill. And for this apartment, there's a envisioned a painter. And there's actually another apartment for a painter because I completely forgot that I did this apartment in the style of a painter. I thought I did this apartment in the style for an, like an artist or like a musician. Which apparently I didn't. So, you know, that's fine. You just have two painters that can like, uh, talk to each other, learn from each other, paint together, stuff like that. I still like haven't played with a new feature. They have like um, an Etsy shop for The Sims. I forgot what it's what's what it's called. I still haven't used that because I don't actually play the game. And I feel like that's um, something that a lot of people run into with The Sims 4. Like the looks of the game, I love it. I love the way this game looks. It is so amazing. I love the building features. I love the cast features. Even though we don't have color wheel, um, I don't really care that much i just love the way it looks i absolutely love it but i forgot i forgot what that was, what my point was i was gonna make a very useful point but i completely forgot it i'm sorry i don't remember what i was gonna say man this is embarrassing i was talking about color wheels i just don't remember Basically, uh, today's voiceover is like a bad podcast. That, that's it. It's bad. I can really can't remember what I was talking about. I was talking... Oh, yeah, I was talking about the Etsy shop in Sims 4. Because I don't actually play the game. Like, I love the build features, but I don't like the gameplay. I feel like it's really repetitive and kind of boring. Sorry, Sims 4. But um, I'm not the only one to say that. I'm not the first one. I will definitely not be the last one to say that. I just, gameplay wise, I can't do it. I used to play The Sims 2. I could play this for hours. I could, I, I remember this one safe file that I have in The Sims for uh, Sims 2. Unfortunately, like I can't start it up anymore because it's corrupted. But in The Sims 2, I used to have this family and they would, become so big like this one like the mom and dad they had 36 children and by non-cheating i didn't cheat any of it because i didn't even knew you could you could cheat at that point in the sims so you would like these um you would get points for completing um aspirations and uh wishes and with those points you could buy uh, trees and elixir of life and that would make your sim actually younger. So it was amazing. So the moms had like 36 or 48 children. And they would invade the entire neighborhood. And it came to like a point so far that my sims couldn't actually marry someone. 
And then um, I actually found out in The Sims 2, if you are third cousin, you could actually marry your family. And that would be fine. But if like second, uh, first or second cousin wasn't fine, but third cousin was fine. So that was like a really good, um, well, discovery really. I found that out by accident. So I was like, oh, well, this sim is nice. Let's check out, no, let's get married. No, well, let's see who is related to. And then I found out that we had like the same ancestors. So that was kind of awkward. I also, oh, I remember the Sims 2 apartments now. Those were amazing. I miss the Sims 2. I wish I they would just uh, remaster it. Oh, remastered Sims 2. People would play that so, so much. Sims 2 is life, man. I keep saying it. Sims 2 is amazing. Absolutely love The Sims 2. Anyway, like going, let's go back to The Sims 4. So, this apartment is the third apartment that we are making. And for this apartment, I had a Sim in mind who was into YouTube or SimsTube or whatever it's called in The Sims 4. And actually video editing and gaming and stuff, you know, basically me. <laughs> I'm like a combination of all these apartments because I love to paint. I'm not really good at it, but I really like it. I love editing videos, I'm becoming better at that. And I love playing music, which I'm relatively good at actually. Although like I forgot to make the musicians uh, apartments. I also really love knitting. Like I like I like knitting scarves, even though my scarves are kinda ugly always. I really like them. And they're really warm and I quite I quite enjoy that. But knitting like sweaters and hats and socks, nope. I'm just gonna stick with scarves. They're straight and they're easy. Did you hear that? That was really loud. And I do believe that these two apartments, like the third and the fourth one, were the smallest, so they were kind of tricky to actually like um, decorate, and that mostly has to do with the fact that their bathroom was small. So in the bathroom you couldn't actually fit the dresser or the mirror, so um, that had to all be in your actual living space. And I did feel that it was kind of important to have like almost similar living spaces in every apartment. So a two person bed, a, a seating area with TV, a desk and a skill object. And then with the other apartments, it would easily, the rest fit easily in the uh, bathroom. But as you can see, this bathroom is kind of small and we are using large doors because this is a Victorian home. And Victorian home are 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 having like are having wow and victorian homes have large doors this is really not a good day for my grammar what the heck is wrong with me i am so so sorry guys i'm sorry please don't judge me from this one video go watch my other videos where my english is way better sorry and right now we are going into the final apartment and the final apartment um, is also for a painter, which I forgot that I already did. So you can see how much uh, I actually pay attention when I'm building, like not that much. And for this one, I was kind of thinking, you no, know, um, the other ones are all pretty pink and purplish and bluish. Let's uh, let's create an apartment around the color green. And I actually really like the way that it turned out. Um, same with the other apartment. Layout wise, uh, this was quite a tricky apartment because of the small spaces. Like the bathroom isn't really that big here either. And then you have those giant doors and the windows are really unfortunate. But I think that we actually made something good out of it. I actually really like the way it looks and I think guys we are almost heading into screenshots. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it make sure to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when my next video goes live. Bye guys!